Hi, I'm Bodie Connolly. What I'm standing in front of here is a prototype light board that I made during my time at UQX. The idea is that it can be used in flip classroom videos, allowing the students to see what you write, as well as your face and hands as you write it. And this increases the engagement. Now I'll show you an example of the light board in use. Hello and welcome to the first demonstration of our light board. I'm going to use the light board to demonstrate the basic design of an inverting operational amplifier circuit. Let's start with our ideal operational amplifier. In the inverting amplifier we have an input resistor, let's designate that R in, and a feedback resistance. Let's call that RF. Our non-inverting input is conventionally connected to ground potential. Our amplifier now gives us voltage amplification of V in and presents that at the output terminal as V out. Our basic gain equation for voltage gain is negative because it's inverting RF over R in. Now remember our two golden rules for op amp circuit design. Number one, we assume we have no current flowing into or out of either the non-inverting or the inverting input. So zero bias current. Remember this is in an ideal op amp, it won't happen in the real world. Secondly, whenever we use feedback in an amplifier circuit, the amplifier will drive the, dis the difference between the inverting and non-inverting input to zero. So there is zero potential difference between the inverting and the non-inverting terminal. If we remember those basic rules and are always careful not to drive the op amp with a load exceeding its specification, we can rely on the inverting circuit to give us a reliable gain given by the equation we see here. Thank you and we'll talk about another circuit next time.